Hello, I'm Liz, one of Derry's reference librarians, and welcome to another episode of Misinformation Busters. Once a week, we tackle a rumor or false misunderstood information and try to separate fact from fiction. This week, we're talking about two doctors getting a lot of attention, Erickson and Masihi, the Bakersfield doctors. So, what's the story? Well, last month, these two doctors held an online press conference. The doctors co-own urgent care facilities in Bakersfield, California, and they operated private COVID testing site out of said facilities, and they tested 5,213 people. Of those, only 340 tested positive. And in their press conference, they presented this data and came to the conclusion that the lockdown is an overblown response and that we should really only be quarantining the sick. This got a lot of attention from the end the lockdown crowd, and they got support from people like Elon Musk and Fox News' Laura Ingram. They even went on Ingram to say that COVID is just similar to the flu, and they went on to criticize Fauci, saying he hasn't treated patients in years. So, what are the facts? Well, first off, we already talked about how COVID is more severe than the flu last week. Come on. Second, the doctor's views do not represent a majority of public health officials, and they've received widespread criticism and debunking with their actions and conclusions being called irresponsible. The American College of Emergency Physicians and the American Academy of Emergency Medicine issued a statement of condemnation for these two doctors, saying, quote, These reckless and untested musings do not speak for medical societies and are inconsistent with current science and epidemiology regarding COVID-19. Which brings us to the bigger issue with their claim. The testing. Remember, they only tested people in their area. Dr. Carl Bergstrom, a biologist who specializes in infectious disease modeling at the University of Washington, says, quote, they use methods that are ludicrous to get results that are completely impossible. And the AAEM and the ACEP agreed. The hostess skeptic's guide to the universe went into this further. They only tested people who came into their facilities who may have had symptoms. So even that is a flawed sample. Testing for studies don't just take whoever comes to the door. A good sample pool for testing would take people from all over the area and make sure there's a variety when it comes to symptoms, age, etc. It's not just your patients, so whatever data they got out of that is really skewed. Not saying that the results were wrong, per se, but you can't judge that area, let alone the state or the country, based on that one sample. And there's also the issue of the assertion that we need to only quarantine the sick. At this time, we have no widespread testing, therefore we have no idea who is sick. People could just be asymptomatic characters and therefore never feel the need to get tested. Which brings us back to their sample pool. It's very possible that there were more infected people out there, but they didn't have symptoms, therefore didn't come in, and the doctors did not have an opportunity to test them. The skeptics hosts and Dave Gorski of Science Based Medicine also pointed out that there may be economic and political motivations for these doctors, and the AAEM and the ACEP brought that up as well in their statement. Urgent care facilities have taken a hit in the COVID pandemic, and our media is always willing to give a microphone to someone who expresses a contrary point of view when it comes to science. What better way to get free publicity than to express an opinion that goes against the general opinion of public health officials? Finally, it should be pointed out that neither of these doctors are epidemiologists or seem to have backgrounds in infectious diseases. Dr. Fauci, on the other hand, has a background in infectious diseases and immunology. He may not be treating patients, but he still has been involved in labs and in research, and this is his field. Just because someone isn't seeing patients doesn't mean they are not up to date in their field of study. And while these doctors might be perfectly good physicians, it also doesn't mean they are an expert in every field. Whatever their motivations may be, there is a reason they are in disagreement with the experts on this one. Their conclusions are misguided by poor research at best, or at worst, cynical and exploitative of Americans who are scared, stressed, and looking for answers. Thank you for watching, and as always, look for the sources in the comments. If you want to do some research, you can use our EBSCO databases available through the library's website. See you next week!